Hello guys and welcome in my channel Dom's Games. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can open and close your door in Unreal Engine 5. Okay before we start we need the door mesh. If you have your own door that's fine. If you don't there is already a door in Unreal Engine template. Just go to content drawer, add, click here, go to content and add starter content. Okay now if you search in the content you will find the door with the frame. Here is the door. Now let's create the door. Press blueprint class, actor. Why we choose actor? Because actor is an object placed or spawned in the world. So press actor, we name it BP door. Open it. Here, add static mesh. We name it door. Go here and add the door. And we add another static mesh, we name it frame. Go here and type frame. That's it. We adjust it in the correct place. Before going to the blueprint, we need to add one more thing. Click on the door, click on the static mesh. Basically, the default door doesn't have a collision. So we need to add a collision to this door. Go here, collision, press add box sample, collision. Save and return here. Now go to event graph, delete everything here and create your custom event. Let's name it for example door open. To explain to you what we will do exactly, we will rotate this door with the blueprint code. So first thing, take the door and type it set relative rotation as you see here we have x y and z and here we need to rotate the blue one which is z so we put 19 we can open the door with this function but there will be a problem the door will open directly so we need a smooth transition for opening the door like an animation but it's not animation it's a blueprint code so we need to add one more function which is a timeline we name it open door here plug this to play from start and update to set relative rotation double click on the timeline here we need to add a flow track let's name it for example door degree here we put the time for example one second now add a key here time zero and the value zero also add one more key and put here time one second and the value 1. Compile. Go back to event graph. Now take door degree and type lerp. Here press control and plug. What does it mean? In one second we will change the degree from 0 to 19. As I mentioned before here we have x, y and z. We need only to change the z one. So, click on the right mouse, go here and click split struct pin. And plug this here with Z. Okay, that's it the function for opening the door. What we need now, we need the player to press a key to open the door. But before this, we will check if the door is set up correctly. So I'm gonna add the function to test. Events begin play. And here I call this function door open. That means when the game starts, the door will open. Let's compile and test. And let's test. Okay, the door works fine. Okay, let's go back and delete this. Compile. Now we need the player to open the door with the keyboard key. To achieve that, we need to create a line trace. So, open your character blueprint. Here in event graph, let's type here F key. We will make for example the door open with the F key. Here type line trace by channel. Take this here. Now we take our camera and here type get word location. Plug this on start. And also type get forward vector. Multiply. 
Here we change it to float. Let's put for example here 5000. Press add. Plug this here and plug this in and. Basically what this code means. We will create a line trains going from our camera to a forward distance. For example I type here 5000 distance. Now here press B to make a branch and here in out hit type break. Here in hit actor cast to BP door. Like this here and here type open door. We'll call the function that we created in the door here. Compile. Before we test, go here in the line trains by channel and change this to for duration so that we can see the line trace in the game. Compile. So if we test, uh, if I press F key, as we see here, we have the line trace. And if we test our door, it will open. But every time I will press, the door will always open. To make the door close, it's very easy. Go back to your door blueprint. Here, we will use a function which is called flip flop. Type here flip flop. Basically, what does it mean? Every time we press F, the first time we'll go to A, and the next time we'll go to B, and the third time to A, etc. And plug this B to reverse. Compile and let's test now. Okay, here we open the door and we close it. Open the door, close it. That's it guys, I hope it was very simple for you. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe to support me, bye bye.